like Shalom, Brokathi Hal Ba Shem Yashai Ba Shem Chakudash. Back once again to do a little uh, quick follow up to the video I just made. Um, so, in regards to the uh, lo some of the laws that we keep, in regards to the way we pre prepare our meat and stuff, I forgot to um, uh, put a little bit on this video going into some of the comments section about what people were saying in regards to the way these Edomites are showing how they claim you're not supposed to wash meat. So, it's lucky, uh, let me start again. You know, Giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Chachudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone of all well. And shalom to our community, pushing this word around the globe in faith and in truth and sincerity. As always, I should begin by saying that we are the real Hebrew Israelites. The real Israelites are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, West Indians and West Africans predominantly. However, you are going to get Israelites that do look like the other 17 nations, but... If your forefathers go back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob in the Bible, you too are an Israelite no matter what you look like. Uh, because, you know, Numbers 1 and 18 states that um, your lineage is determined by the line of your forefathers. So that's your nationality. You are what your forefathers, forefathers are. So like, yeah. Um, so let me get back into this. In the video I just uploaded, I was talking about how Esau don't wash their meat. And in our laws, it actually shows that we do. We are supposed to wash our meat. Now, what I forgot to do was do a little um, commentary on some of the comments that were made on this video. So for those of you who are not familiar with what I'm talking about, just go back and watch my previous video and you can come back and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's essentially this video. <laughs> consumers think that you should wash your chicken before you cook it. Is that a safe practice? From a food safety standpoint, it's a bad idea because we can potentially spread any bacteria that may be on the surfaces of, in this case, our chicken item to all other areas of our preparation area, cutting boards, sink, countertops, pans, etc. And we can potentially make that food safety hazard even worse. If we aren't sure what the pressures in our sink are, you can see that just simply splattering juices everywhere is not a good practice. In fact, see there we have it, Job 30 and 8. Yeah, here's you got this dumb RC that might treating the chicken as if he's, he's giving the chicken a shower. You know, so let's get into these comments because a lot of these comments reveal what I've been saying in my previous video. So let's read some of these. It says he probably thinks you wash it with soap and water. <laughs> Dumbass. Ha ha ha, so true, thanks for the laugh. Now, let me, I'm going to guess a lot of these comments are coming from Jake's. So let's see the ratio of Jake to Esau comments, yeah? Who's this person? Yeah, that looks like a Jake to me. Let's keep going. Who the hell? Who the hell runs meat under a flowing tap? What the fuck? No wonder you're saying it spreads bacteria. Here's the point. Where I come from, the meat is placed into a designated bowl or container with water mixed with vinegar or lemon and lime already in it. See, this is what I'm saying, you know, that's the kind of way that um, my family deals with cleaning the meat and stuff like that. You know, you use vinegar, lemon, things like that to clean the meat. And, you know, you clean the meat, you, you, you thoroughly clean the meat before you cook it. 61 likes, 4, four replies. Yes, oh, look, here we go. Look at this. Yes, same in Haiti. Now, for those of you who don't don't know, the Haitians is the tribe of Levi. Jake's, yeah? Yes, same in Haiti, my friend. That's why we're always, they're all, that's why they're always, so like you're getting food poisoning. The Moors thought, taught them a few things about cleanliness. The Moors taught them a few things about cleanliness, but everything. Americans and Asians, we do too. Uh, many parts, if not all, of West Africa as well. What did I say? Jake's, man. It's beautiful. Uh, it says, beyond nasty. Just place the chicken in a container and rinse with vinegar and salt. Can't. Clean down your sink area with di diluted Clorox. Done. Yeah, 69 likes, 9 replies. Katie Joy, this is disgusting. I've used salt, water and vinegar. Tightens the muscle fibres, so I'd rather not take that chance of having toughened meat. 
Ah, oh, it's probably an Edomite. You can also wash with flour, never heard of that one. Exactly, 10% bleach slash Clorox is all it takes. That even kills the microorganism that causes HIV. I don't know about that. Just cook your chicken. What bacteria is going to survive at 160 degrees? I'm guessing that's an Edomite. <laughs> Lime, vinegar and water are the solution, people. Yes, that's right. Look at this. Washing the meat does not kill the bacteria, it moves the small bone particles in the blood, the nastiest parts such as the breasts and other in intimate parts of the animal film that comes war. Wash your hands afterwards, okay. Why are you people so hard headed? Seems as if you're rinsing, not washing, sir. You know. Yeah, for the last freaking time, we do not use soap, limes, water and vinegar give the meat better flavour. Can't. True. Smell. True. So it doesn't smell so raw. And colour. Nobody wants to eat something with a strong smell. Is that how you think we wash our meat? <laughs> you think we use soap, <laughs> salt, lemon, vinegar, all the things we use to clean meat. There you go. Let me just scroll down a bit more. It would help if they knew how to properly clean a chicken. They obviously don't know. Is this a Jake? It looks like a Jake. See what I'm saying here? It proves my point, man. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm assuming these are Jakes through the spirit based on their comments. Not just on what they look, they look like, but it seems to me that it's, there's a trend here. Like this chick who's saying, was she? Yeah, looks like a Jake to me. So, as I said in the previous video, when you know the laws of the Bible, you really observe them in, in light of the current world. Look, another Jake. LOL, we don't wash our meat like that. You put it in a bowl, though. Jake. You soak the chicken in lemon or vinegar. Don't know who the hell that is. Nowhere in the video is seasoning and marinated mentioned, exactly. So you're telling me you'll season your already bland chicken directly on top of the wet chicken. No, you're still going to have bacteria in a cutting board or bowl or something. Also, most people don't clean chicken with running water. We use vinegar and lemon and a pot of boiled water slightly cooled down. Then we clean all surfaces like you're doing anyway. I think the science is flawed and if anyone... If any experiment is made, it was by simply, no, I don't know what the rest is, simply made one-off method of cleaning meat. But it looks like a Jake. I rest my case. Just one looking either might do this, is I can't trust anyone who doesn't use gloves when handling their meat. Who turns the water up higher when you're washing the chicken? I never get sick from washing my food. Oh my god, every time I see a white person saying why you shouldn't wash meat, there's always they always wash the meat by just rinsing it under the faucet. <laughs> yeah. So they don't know how to prepare their meat properly, man. That's the point I'm making. They don't know. They don't know, man. Don't heat your chicken, it'll kill you. That's not how you clean chicken. This is one of the stupidest things I've ever watched. Yeah. So washing food is a no-no because bacteria is nice. No, dumbass. So let me just, for edification's sake, one more time, bring out precept. Just for edification's sake, because I don't want to do a video with no scriptures in it. Exodus twenty nine seventeen. 
Yeah, it's Exodus 29, 17. And thou shalt cut the ram in pieces, and wash the inwards of him and his legs, and put them in pieces unto his head. So you're supposed to wash your meat. If you're an Israelite, if you're a heathen, keep doing what you're doing, because it ain't going to make a difference. But when you're in the kingdom, then you're going to be keeping all our laws. You know, so, um, yeah, Esau's going off, man. And Esau is Job 38, the basest of men. So with that, just a little quick follow-up to that video I was doing, Lord willing. It was edifying. Giving all praise and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Mahakudash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone at Warwell. Shalom to you, Arkin, pushing this word around the globe in faith and in truth and sincerity. And until the next lesson, I say, Shalom, Wa'abad Babo, Kwam Yashu'ala.